What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Just got back over here to the shop where B&K Performance. Mustang is getting some more work today. We got this thing fired up yesterday. Everything worked out good, craned up good, good oil pressure, no big issues. Uh, what we got working on today, I've got some shims, some washers, some fender washers that are a little bit thinner than the ones I had. The ones I had were about 60 thousandths. These are about 48, 50 thousandths, it looks like. So we're going to try to grind those down just a little bit. I'd like to get them about 40 but man, it's very difficult to grind down a washer, a flat washer. You put it on a belt sander and then it grabs it and then it's gone. Or either you burn your fingers up because you're trying to hold it. It's hard to flat sand a washer to get it to the proper the proper thickness. So, But we're going to try to work it out. We're going to try to figure out how we can get it a little bit thinner. So we're going to do that and we're going to pull down the valve body. And we're going to do a converter feed restrictor. If y'all want to support the channel, head on over to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. Uh, winter time is coming. We got some cool stuff coming. We got some different hats coming. We got some uh, boggins coming. All that stuff will be up in the next few days, hopefully. All right, guys. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So the valve body is off of the car. Uh, pretty messy, of course. Not too bad. But the converter feed restrictor is basically this whole right here uh, this is the one that has the threads that bolt in you got one two three that bolt in up here and you got four in the back back here and so this one right here is the converter feed circuit you can restrict it here in the valve body or in the front pump up there so we're going to do it here uh, pete nichols is the one that uh started suggesting to do it here it's a little easier so we're going to go in there we're going to tap it out to a eighth inch npt and then we're going to put uh, Allen set screw in it with 125 thousandths orifice. And it should work good. And then we'll reassemble it. All right, guys. So a couple things here to notice here. We got our plug-in. I don't know if you can really see it really good. But it is in. The problem is I did not tap that quite deep enough. So I had to take my steel screw there. And not only did I have to drill 125 thousandths hole in it, which I did, I drilled 125 thousandths hole in it, but I also had to grind it so that it would fit flush up in there. Brass set screws, and you definitely want the Allen head one. That's your friend. That is your friend. All right, guys, so that is how you do a converter feed restrictor on a power glide transmission. Probably a couple other ways to do it, but that is the way we're gonna do it and hopefully it's going to work like we're thinking there's my little thin washers that we put on torque converter spacing is uh definitely right in spec 125 to 187 we're about one between 160 and 170 uh on our spacing now so we've got plenty of room which we have plenty of room before too so i'm hoping the issue with the thrust is that that has not been uh restricted so here we go let's go all right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, we will see y'all at the racetrack soon. Later.